Welcome to video uh, probability 2.3, the multiplication rule, and the seven dwarfs. This is example three. Each of the seven dwarfs wants to kiss Snow White uh, before they go off to work. Doc or Happy will always give the first kiss, and Grumpy will never give the last kiss, otherwise he'll be really grumpy. All right, so A, Given these conditions, in how many different ways can the seven dwarfs line up to give the kiss? Okay, here's that reminder again. Always perform the most restrictive steps first. That's just in general. Okay, I'm a visual person. There's seven dwarfs. I'm going to make seven slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Below each slot, I'm going to put in any constraints. For this one, they said Doc or Happy. And for this one, they said Not Grumpy. Okay, it's important to realize that when you're placing physical people or objects, that's really like no repetition. You can't put a person in two different spots at the same time. So again, it's uh, implied that when we're arranging physical objects or people that you can't have repetition. Okay, so again, always perform the most restrict restrictive step first. Um, let's do this one. This one's going to be kind of challenging because I could only be Doc or um, Happy. Uh, that's actually more restrictive than this one over here. All right. So, how many ways are there to perform that step? Two. Just be Doc or Happy. So, once again, we're choosing to perform that first. What's the next most restrictive step? This one over here. There's no restrictions over here. So, I'm going to perform this step second. Even though it's at the end of the line, that's the second thing I'm going to consider. Okay. So, this could be any seven dwarf except it can't be grumpy and also it can't be whoever I selected here. Again, even though I've got a two there, there's only one person there. It could be one of two people or dwarfs. All right, so just to show my work, out of the seven dwarfs, don't be grumpy and don't be that one from there. So there's five ways of performing that stuff. Okay, then uh, these uh, have no constraints. I'll just go from left to right then. All right, over here, be any of the seven dwarfs. Don't be that one and don't be that one. So again, it's seven minus one minus one, which is another five. Over here, be any of the seven dwarfs, except don't be this one, this one, or this one. So it's basically 7 minus 3, which is 4, etc. So then it'll be times 3, times 2, and then that'll be the last one. And I'm going to multiply, because this is the multiplication rule, the number of ways of doing this event, times this event, times this event, etc. All right, uh, I could do this without a calculator, so let me show you this. Um, 2 and 5s, that's a ton. 2 and 5, that's a 10, so I'm up to 100. Um, and then over here, I've got 4 by 3, that's 12, 1,200. And then I just added this one with the names of the seven dwarfs. I'm not 100%, um, I keep forgetting. So I think it's Doc, Grumpy, Happy, Sleepy. Dopey, um, Bashful, and the second S, I forget, Sneezy, how could I forget? This was just extra, you don't have to memorize the seven dwarfs. So there you have it, how to use the multiplication uh, rule with a problem involving Snow White and the seven dwarfs.